subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hello beautiful people out there this is Ashish Chauhan from Ashur Creation welcome back to my youtube channel well today in this video I'm gonna show you how you can edit your photo like Caleb who is a famous Instagram photographer and we really appreciate his work so in this video I will show you how you can create such you know very moody and like a boy sleeping on the bed and uh, holding the mobile phone with the chat hats so before getting to the video just hit the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys and if you still haven't subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates and don't forget to visit our website that is www.asvircreations.com from there you can download backgrounds camera preset lightroom preset and every kind of you know loots and pngs and every kind of photo editing stuff for free so go and check it out that website and don't forget to follow me on instagram just type ashware creation let's jump to the photoshop now all you have to do is just capture one kind of you know photo in your bedroom just like you are sleeping on the bed now let's select the photo by using the quick selection tool just click on the plus icon to make it the photo to be selected now you can select your photo by using the quick selection tool or you also you can use pen tool to select very properly and now right click on it and select layer bar copy option to make a duplication of the layer so here you can see i have already made a duplication or the cut out of the image now let's add some background on the photograph so we'll go to the file click on open and let's just browse the background first of all we will crop the image for our instagram profile so let's select the crop tool and just click on the 4 is to 5 ratio which is a very perfect photo for the perfect size for your instagram profile you can just increase some uh, area and hit enter now let's add the background in the photograph so, so just here is our background just drag it and drop over here it is really very simple to add the background now go to the edit select free transform and just decrease the size of the image now let's just you know adjust the background in a perfect position still you can just press ctrl d and adjust the background now go to the filter select blur and then select the box blur from there and just do the box blur to around you know 25 or 27 but i recommend you to you know suggest 25 or 26 and hit ok so here you can see we have perfectly added this bokeh we have added this background on the image now let's just uh, you know create some kind of effect on it so let's just now let's just go to the fair file click on open and let's add some more you know this uh, blanket on the image just drag and drop press ctrl t and decrease the size of the blanket now you can always adjust it by using the crop tool or somewhere it or just keep it on the top of the image let's keep it somewhere over here again press ctrl j and press ctrl d flip it horizontal way and go to the filter select blur and then just select the gaussian blur and just blur it a bit again press ctrl j from the keyboard and you can still adjust the 
curtains press this below the Again, press Ctrl J and just you know keep it somewhere over here. Now, the next thing would be you know to add some chat hats on the image. The very first thing we will do is just uh, blur the edge of this layer and also we will blur the edge of the subject so let's go to the filter sorry a toolbox and select the blur tool and select the hard drawn brush and make the strength to around 80 percent and just blur on the edges of the image only a minor because this is really very much necessary, necessary that if you are cutting out the image then if you want to make your subject or, or the photograph to look more realistic then you have to do this process every time because this will actually you know merge your photograph which you have cut out with the background and it will look way more original and natural so it is very much necessary that you should always uh, you know do the process of blurring to add this now up to here we will do the process now let's just create new layer create a clipping mask and select the brush tool and let's just uh, select this color any of the brownish color or the reddish color now change it to subtract blending mode to subtract now just add some you know colors to the image increase the opacity or change it to overlay press ctrl u and just change the color of the image also let's just decrease some opacity Here we will make the hairs of the subject so let's select the smudge tool and let's make the hairs of the subject select the hard drawn brush and just move it in the upward direction so here you can see we have perfectly you know added this made the hairs of the subject <coughs> now again let's select the brush tool and let's some um, add some lights on the image
so here you can see we have added this blue light on the face of the subject here we have given the blending option as the overlay so this is how you can add the lights on the face of the image of the model now the next thing would be to add some chat heads on the image yeah the very first thing is remaining still more it is to you know first of all we will just merge it with the background uh, subject image this color lights now again let's select the blur tool and just do the process of blurring where it was remaining so let's do the process of blurring the edges of the subject to make it look more realistic and it will actually you know merge it with the background which we want actually so here we have almost done the process of blurring now let's do the process of blurring on this curtains also Let's do one another curtain. Now let's just unhide this both layers. Now let's open the chat heads PNG. So go to the file, click on open and let's just select this PNG and just drag and drop over here. And you can keep it somewhere over here. So that it will you know actually look like uh, slides are just coming from this chat head now just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layers and now again let's select the crop tool and just crop it now go to the filter select camera filter from there and let's add you know some kind of preset or let's add manually adjust the manually preset go to the calibration tab just move the slider from left to right move it to from the yellowish color Now let's increase the darkness, add some contrast on the image, decrease some highlights or increase some highlights, decrease some shadows on the image, increase some blackness, increase the whiteness. let's give it a uh, you know a little bit of bluish look on the image so move the temperature to blur minus 10 or minus 13 now it is really looking very much you know original and realistic let's go to the cows 
click a point somewhere over here and one point over here and just move the slider Still you can go to the green color and still you can adjust some color tone. Let's go to the blue color and still you can adjust some contrast or the effect you wanna increase or decrease. Let's add some shadows. Now your photo is really looking very much you know awesome. So here you can see the here was our before and here is the after effect. It is really looking very much realistic. Now let's just hit OK. So here you can see we have perfectly edited just like yellow and really looking very cinematic and would be a perfect photo for your you know Instagram profile. So here is the before and here is the after. Well I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed then just hit the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys and if you still haven't subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates and don't forget to visit our website that is www.asfircreations.com from there you can download new backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset and every kind of photo editing stuff for free so go and check it out that website. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, just type as your creation. Well guys, thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video.